rangers say they're responding to a small wildfire in Shapley, and they say that late April is the most common time of year for these types of fires. It's Wildfire Awareness Week, by the way, and Maine Forest Rangers are taking the opportunity to explain how wildfires get started and then continue to spread. New Center Maine's Jackie Mundry reports. According to the Maine Department of Agriculture, Conservation and Forestry, Southern and Western Maine are at a high risk of wildfires this weekend. Forest Ranger Kent Nelson says this is the most common time of year for a wildfire to break out. We've done some research and we've had most of our spring fires in the last two weeks of April. He says dry grass and windy air fuel the flames. He adds most wildfires are caused by people who are just trying to clean out the brush in their yards. We're all anxious to do that, but um, it's oftentimes the fires don't get cared for properly. Um, they're left unattended, they're not put out fully. And then when you get a windy afternoon with dry temperatures that are warming, the fire will escape and cause a brush fire. Nelson says even if there has been some rain, a few windy days afterwards can still cause fires. It doesn't take long for those fine fuels, the small stuff, to dry out. In order to burn your brush here in Maine, you do need a permit. Nelson says that's because of fire dangers. The Department of Agriculture, Conservation and Forestry won't be handing out permits until it's safer to do so. Jackie Mundry, New Center, Maine.